So for a couple of reasons I choose to make this episode separately. First reason is that previous video about Finland was too long, 20 minutes is more than enough. Secondly this part of the hill was not physically challenging as spiritually journey to our subconscious and inner soul. Give me a sec, I will explain you everything. We got lost and have to deal with changing weather conditions, path full of different size rocks and especially our mental preparation for such a situation. In this video you will see the beauty of Halti mountain and challenges you can face on the way up and down. As I mentioned in previous video, the fastest way up the Finnish Halti top is Norway. This is why we had to cross the border of Norway. Why Finnish, not Norwegian? Well, our decision to visit Scandinavia is not only to see popular tourist place, but as well hiking the highest peaks. I will show you a footage of climbing Norwegian highest peak in next episode. Challenges to Halti mountain started already at the beginning to getting there. First of all, we were stopped by Norwegian police officers as they told us we looked suspicious and this is the uh, main reason why they want to check us and our car. Uh, sadly, I don't have any video material. I believe you understand that filming police officers while they were searching for uh, drugs in your car when you don't have them would be irrational. Anyway, they let us go because we were clean. I have to admit, they were pretty nice to us, really friendly, gave us information about tourist spots, roads, tunnels and etc. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like this kind of adventures. It's really lovely to have adventures. Our next challenge was the road to the parking point. Check this out. So we decide to go up on uh, Halti mountain from Norway side. Well, to till some moment uh, it's fun, but later it became more fun because the road is really Really, really, it's not. It's not. Uh, the road is not too close to. There is a lot of sheep, and uh, the road it is sand and rocks only, and you can ma max speed up 30 kilometers because. It's Otherwise, it's really dangerous. So, oh yeah. When we were near to the top of Finland's highest peak, we got confused which peak is Norwegian and which is Finnish because navigation was not showing the exact spot and we do not see those beautiful signs as usually are on the top of each famous mountains, only rocks, fog and clouds with beads.
I believed watching on navigation that the top was to the south, but Robert thought that it From was yeah. in another direction. So what we have done to find yeah, the right way? Found. Rock, paper and scissors. Yep, that is how we were making compromises all these journeys. And yeah, this time we went in my direction. I would like to mention the crucial point that I had to learn the hard way. Hiking boots. The first and most important, they have to be dedicated for hiking, saving your feet and especially malleolus. Because lucky me, I did not have any injuries, but insurance properly for my stupidity does not cover all medical healing procedures. When I got tired, it was hard to hold the balance on rocks making uh, be trip sleep from time to time. There were no signs when we get to the top by what my navigator was showing. So we just eat our military lunches hoping that it is the top of the highest peak. I wanted to fly around with a drone to get some footage for my videos and hit back, but Robert didn't like this idea. He wanted to find the spot where it says halt 1324 meters and take pictures to have a proof. I started walking around looking for it and you know what? The fog didn't make it easy for us, but uh, halting or not, highest peak in Finland because nothing else here on the clouds us and, and this kind of stuff and it's the biggest one which we saw on our path that's what we see current around us idea. Eventually yellow colored suspicious rocks gave it away and we officially made it. Robert took his desired pictures and we start hitting ah! it. I already want to go down but Robert still was thinking that he's not on Halti. But uh, yeah we found it and uh, this is how it looks like. so lovely oh boy that was a long way back again being confused by navigators we have gone slightly the wrong way I stood of going simply back pretty much the same way we have gone we have took a different path we may be already for several hours going back to our stop where we leave our car and actually it's pretty annoying and exhausting walk by these rocks down because I believe go up it was more easy and fast it took us two hours to get to the peak but uh, five hours get back even thought it was truly tiring but we do not regret it the views was amazing So basically get lost, it's not so bad, I mean the good side of it is you're gonna meet local animals, like really closely you can meet them, it's, got, it's really good to gym for your legs, just uh, make sure that you will have, a, have some food with you and of course on expected places you, you're gonna visit for sure. And we finally reached the parking. I decide to take a bath at the lake. 
All right, people, it was amazing experience, but that is not over. Wild Norway, minimalistic Sweden, and not so boring Denmark are waiting for the next episodes. Oh, and another highest mountains in Scandinavia and bunch of adventures. Like, subscribe, and uh, write down what was your craziest experience in the mountains in comments below. And yeah, see you!